Hey everybody, what, I'm going to try something a little different today. I'm going to be frying some jackfruit. It's going to be kind of like a fried chicken substitute. I'm going to put lots of Cajun seasoning in it. I've never tried cooking this, so this is my first time actually on camera. I have eaten fried jackfruit before when I was in Thailand after a day of scuba diving. Uh, we stopped off at a little roadside stand and the, uh, the, guy, the, the tour guide bought some fried jackfruit. We were eating it and we asked him, what is this? He's, he didn't really know in English. And finally, when he got to ask him one of the other guys, and the other guy goes, it's jackfruit. And we're like, well, what's jackfruit? You know, we thought it was some kind of animal. It really did taste like or had textures very similar to meat. Of course, they were using the, probably the fresh jackfruit off the tree and all the other stuff. We're gonna try it with a can. Been doing some research on it. Works very similar to how I would do a fried chicken. So anyway, let's get started. Oh yeah, it's all gonna be vegan. A vegan vegan would be happy about that, but he's not here today. Hopefully he's not here today. One of the things that we need to do ahead of time is uh, we need to make our buttermilk. One of the things that we kind of need to do a little bit ahead of time, or I guess you could say first, because by the time we prepare our other steps and everything, this should be fine. We're gonna make our vegan buttermilk. This is one cup of unsweetened soy milk and one and a half tablespoons of just plain old white distilled vinegar. We're gonna put this in here and you need to do this a few minutes ahead of time. And we'll see how this goes. Uh, I know this works pretty good with regular milk. We'll see how it works with this uh, almond milk. Now this is about probably 45 seconds in and you can see that this is already starting to kind of separate. So it's definitely doing something in there. Okay, so now I've got my jackfruit and brine here. I'm just gonna dump this out into the strainer because we want to rinse it off. And then what we want to do we want to look for seeds. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's some thunder and the lightning going on outside. Yeah, see like here? We don't want to eat those. Anyway, you see what I'm doing and I'll just keep doing this. When I get done, I'll get back to you. So here's our jackfruit after we popped, rinsed it off, popped this little seed pods out, the ones that we could see and all that good stuff. Got our, got our buttermilk here. Now I've got, because this was in brine, I don't want to put any more salt in it because I mean it's probably salty enough, but I, I do want to season it up and I'm using a, a Cajun seasoning without salt. You can kind of season it however you want to, but I'm going to go with the Cajun seasoning. And I'm going to put one teaspoon here in the brine. Now I'm going to be putting some more in the batter later. This is just to season this part. Put you in there. We're just going to let this sit in here for a little bit while we finish getting our uh, our flour and everything else made up. For a batter mixture, I've got half a cup of all-purpose flour and I have a quarter cup of cornstarch. The cornstarch is going to help with making things crispy and I have one teaspoon of our no salt Cajun seasoning. Put that over there. And we're just going to mix these up. Now, bring our jackfruit over here. Toss it around. 
get us a good coating on there. And then like anything else you're going to fry, you want to do your coating ahead of time, a few minutes at least. Or it helps to do that. You don't necessarily, it's not a law or anything, but it helps to keep it from falling off whenever you're frying. One thing you can do to help give you some little crispy bits is to come over here in this flour, take a little bit of your buttermilk mixture, and just kind of drop a couple of drops here and there. Mix those in. And then what that's going to do is that creates some crusty bits, which I kind of like. Some people don't. Some people don't like those big extra crunchy bits, but they're wrong. They're weird. So we're going to keep going. See how this one's looking a lot different? It's because it's got all those crunchy bits on there. Let's check and see if our oil is hot. It feels like it could be. Well, we're not quite there, but we're getting close. Let's go. I don't really want to turn the burner up. That's pretty much where I want it to be. Anyway, I'll be back here in just a second. So I think it's time we can start cooking. We're gonna take our pieces, lightly tap them. If they're wet, we'll dip it back in more flour, but we don't want any excess flour on there. I'm gonna gently put these in here. And as always, when you're frying, don't overcrowd the pan. You know, leave a little space. Okay, so this. See how these look on the other side? They're getting there, but they're not quite ready to turn. My first one I put down, it's ready. And that one's not quite ready, but we're going to turn it anyway. Like depending on where they're sit, where they are in the pan, they're browning up faster than other places. What I'm gonna do is I'll move these a little closer together. Start adding some more. And then whenever they get nice and brown on both sides, we're going to take them out. Yeah, this one here is ready. Put them on some paper towels. All just kind of standard frying stuff. As you've noticed, I'm shallow frying these. You could definitely deep fry these if you want to, but I don't want to do that because really it's a waste of oil. Because as you can see, a lot of coating and breading has fallen off into the oil, and that's really contaminating the oil. So it's kind of a one-use deal. I'll be able to use a little bit of this oil off the top, but really this oil is pretty much done. I deep fry them, I'm kind of wasting a lot of oil. I don't really want to do that. Anyway, these are just about done. Whenever they all get done, I'll get back with you and we'll, we'll do a taste test and see how it turns out. The question we all want to know is, how do these bad boys taste? I mean, to be honest, they look like chicken nuggets to me. So... And we know what's in them. So that's, they can't be chicken McNuggets if you know what's in them. Anyway, let's give it a taste. Mm.
I like the taste. It's definitely does does not need salt. I'm not gonna say it's salty, but it doesn't need any, so it's a good thing we didn't put any salt in the seasoning. Now I've got some barbecue sauce, because whenever I was taking these out, I go, man, those look like nuggets. And I like barbecue sauce on my nuggets. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, so basically, treat these like you would chicken nuggets. 